Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tesla Plays Cave Story. So, yeah. Sue's not doing so great. Trying to get the game to come up. There we go. It would help if my mouse would stop bugging out on me. So yeah, we need to get help Sue out, and the only way to do that is to go to this place called Grass Town. And boy, do I love me Grass Town. Power critters, letting you, it hurts. Hello, my name's Santa. Santa Claus? I was off drinking some water, and they got attacked by monsters. I went right back home, but some very long the way I dropped my key. I'm locked out of my own house. You can't be locked out of your workshop. So, first King Arthur, and now Santa Claus. Man, the legends were totally off. They were all bunny rabbits. That's a jolly tune, I love it. Um, a lot of people say it really feels like it could be in a Kirby game. And they're not wrong. <laughs> it really does kind of have that same general tune a lot of Kirby games tend to go for, so... Oh, and what's that shiny thing down there? It looks very much key-like. Yeah, these... Power critters, as they're called, will try to fly and then land on you. The small ones will try that too, to a much lesser effect. Got Santa's key. Now you can get to his workshop. Oh, ho! So you get my house. Santa's key. Thank you. Sword for ya. Watch out. Death trap to your left. One touch means instant death. I don't believe you. Uh, looks like they were right after all. <laughs> Let's be honest, everyone wanted to do that. <laughs> Like, when, when the sign so obviously says it's into death, would you believe it? <laughs> Not when they're making it that obvious. Thanks, you really saved me there. Here, you can have this. Got the fireball. Someone, anyone else around here? Go searching farther in? We have to pass through the fireplace at Treco's house. I'm the wrong weapon. Wait, you're not Santa. You're Super Mario. Because, yeah, we exactly have the fireball from Super Mario Brothers. Travels across the ground and does some pretty nice damage to boot. Level 1 can do, like, 4 damage. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm not gonna just stand there and let you drop on me, dude. Now it's level 2 already, damn. 
Even bigger fireball! Ooh, jeez, look at that damage. I love enemies in here trying to fall on you from above. Level 3! Oh my god, the damage! Now, it only hits enemies on the ground primarily. Unless you jump and try to hit it from the air like this, but still. That's freaking powerful, man. I also appreciate the color scheme. The level 3 is colored blue instead of red. Blue fire is hotter than red fire. Let's nice attention to detail that. Life capsule. Health increase by five? Keep it coming, guys. Oh, that's the weakness. It can't hit through blocks. But still, that's fine. Yeah, if you look down there, there's spikes. That floor is fake. Gotta be careful about that. Hmm, I can't get up there. I don't have enough of a high enough platform. Now you can shoot fireballs slightly up in the air too, so... Uh huh. You thought you were safe. So what's in here? Choco's house. Yeah, there's only Choco. Hello there. Goodness, that's a dangerous sound we've got there. Are you a traveler? Let's look like your flames just by a hole. Turn the way and you can't get past. Oh, you'd like to go through my fireplace? Then you'll need the jellyfish juice you can get from the jellies. Hmm, we didn't see anything like that though. Uh, okay, suddenly new enemies have shown up, okay. I'm not seeing any jellyfish, jellyfish juice, though. Wonder what's up with that? Hmm. Maybe it's a random drop? Got the jellyfish juice. Do not take it back to Chaco yet. This is important. We actually need to go back to the Mamiga Village now. I believe this is missable. Thankfully, it's not too far to go back. Uh, 
I believe it's... No, it's not in here. It's in one of the houses. Here. Do you want to use the Joe's fish juice in this fireplace? Yes. Find something in the ashes. Got the bubbler. That's a new weapon. It shoots bubbles. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, it, it might seem like a joke weapon. However, let's level it up. It's easier to do that at the A corridor right now. Let's see. Uh, come on. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be kind of precise with your shots here. Come on, I don't need missiles or hearts. I need experience. Come on, guys. Okay. Now I can hold down the button and I shoot lots of them. That's useful. So now I, I think now I'm decent enough to where I can go back to press down. And why is the graphics bugging out? That's weird. Nice little piercing. Oh, it has an ammo count. That's right. I almost forgot about that. Yeah, you only have so many bubbles you can shoot at a time. But still. Oh, the bubbles turn into ice spikes now. Like you charge them up and let them rip. That's awesome. And more weapons is always good, especially if you take too much damage and you're really good weapons. Um, can actually lower in level, so backups are certainly appreciated. Now, if you use this for Chaco, that I believe you can't get again. I think. What's funny is that you don't even have to shoot um, shoot them. The bubbles act like shield. They're damaging shields. That's neat.
It's also the long, longest range weapon we currently have. Okay, I'll, I'll switch back to my Polar Star. It's the most balanced in terms of hitting things. Yeah, these things are interesting, these little ghost things. When you attack them, they'll, they'll also hit you. So be prepared to jump. Power room. It's locked. They blame it. And now we're fighting frogs. Ah, you're aiming the wrong way, dude. Missiles increased by five. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you get missile expansions throughout the game, which helps your missiles actually be pretty great. Morbag, I wish I had that. One open. Hey! Hmm. Spy someone through the crack. Hey, over here! Look at that nice young man. Do you want me out? We'd like to get out of here. Thanks. Take this. Take the rusty key. Found this on the floor. We'll lock the door with it for you. Shot. What? It's not the key to this room. Well, that's just correct. There's no keyhole. We'll just have to break the door down. Now, how would we do that? I do love the kind of the derpy face they make when you blow them up. That's freaking... Hilarious. Hmm. First, let's check this. Execution chamber. Yeah, I saw you up there. Those are enemies that try to crush you, and they are very good at that. What you're supposed to do is go up this way. Life capsule. Yeah, life capsule in an execution chamber. So it's increased by five. That's a very long jump, and it's full of death. Um, how far back is the save point? 
quite a ways. Uh, yeah. Damn it. Okay, I made it. That's our running. Let's put the power to this area. Is it working again? We have to find the power room. Do you mean I didn't even have to come over here? Yet. Do that from a safe distance. I want over there, though. The rusty key. Robot? Doesn't seem to have any power. That's her off. I'll go off. Power it on? Power on. Uh. Uh, hi there? Trigger alert. Commits destruction. Huzzah! Did you know that the mimic I found wasn't Sue? No. She wasn't! That's a huge fit. Smack spears her around pretty hard. Poor girl, don't you think? After all, we can't defy our master. So go with the rule. Because I'm here to break you apart. After orders, of course. You ready? This time we can't avoid fighting him. But let's see what happens if we see the other choice. Right, she wasn't. Okay, not much different. Man, that shredded you. Took some minor bubble damage there, but whatever. 
buggy has been smashed into the ground. You want to pull it out? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're a nice person. So strong. Thanks for saving me. Get the payback somehow. Oh, I knew. Well, I know what to do is make explosives. Hmm? The first you can't get it open? What? You must trapped inside? Truly are a good person. Understood. You make a wonderful bomb for you. you blow that door to the rains. Need you declare it's bomb making materials. Charcoal. To the fish juice and gum base. Okay, so you still could get jellyfish juice. Make a bomb as soon as you bring all the materials. So we got ourselves a little quest to go on now. Damn it. Ah. Damn. Really? Stop lowering my experience on this. I'm trying to get it back. Ugh. It really just doesn't help that they kept throwing those things at me that shoot the long range attacks. Oh wow, I'm sorry if that didn't blow up in my face there. There we go. All caught up. So we need to go back and get the jellyfish juice. But with the power back on, we can also progress forward as well. Look, I know I can hear you. There we go. increased by five. And we have a little enemy here that I quickly dispatched. Empty. But hey, we have more missiles now. Let's get out of the ground. Poof. We seem to see... We seem to find those everywhere now. I don't think I'd like that. Oh, damn it. run on the door. Locked. Hmm. Thank you tap. The chip up will flip this around. Play even higher. Very nice to know. Could work. 
Can I do the materials? Wait, did you say gum base? Hold on a sec. Here, take this. Okay. What's hanging on the wall? There's gum on it. It's gotta be some connection. Depending on you, young man. I'm gonna screw that up. Yeah, sometimes they ever save just in case I fall into spikes. Okay, there we go. Gum key used. the gum base. Uh, oh shit. Oh. We meet again. Do you remember me? Indeed. In the Mimiga village. I hadn't noticed before, but aren't you a soldier from the surface? I wasn't aware there were any left. Misery. Watch out. That one's a fighter. Stronger than an Amiga even. Yay for the compliment, buddy. <laughs> you don't say. Soldiers are your duty. Come back when this one's in pieces. Uh. Grok. Well. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you can only hurt him now when his mouth is open and he's trying to free stuff at you. actually doing more help for me than harm because you give me a lot of experience to use there we go well that's the hardest he's been so far what a fall frog more like <laughs> but yeah Third time was not the charm for him. <laughs> Gotta get a little bit of experience for my missile launcher, but otherwise we're doing pretty good. We need to go back to get some jellyfish juice now.
Now the last thing, I'm not exactly sure what how to get that. We need gum face, we need another thing of jellyfish juice. Yeah, forget the other thing. Oh, charcoal. Now we no longer need to go to the treacherous fireplace to get up here, thanks to the fan. Very nice. I think we need jellyfish juice. Just from the jellies. The big sucker. Yeah, that's the easy way to do that. <laughs> Just trap him up there to where he can't hit you. So... Is this where we get charcoal? This is easier. Oh, I wish I would remember that. Yeah, escape, escape enough too. Okay, I'll remember that. So yeah, how about the charcoal then? Now, people who who might see me play this might be asking, um, if, if I like this, will I be playing the fan-made sequel to it? Absolutely. I think both are amazing games. Now, people have issues with, the, with a fan making a sequel to this because it feels disingenuous. And not any more disingenuous than someone making a fanfic or whatever. So I don't think that matters to me. Plus, I think what they did come up with is pretty good. It really does feel like a proper continuation of this. And I wouldn't mind playing it, even if it is a bit harder. Okay, Santa, can you help here? Get some charcoal? Take this to my fireplace if you like. There we go. Yep, they made you go all the way back. Oh boy. 
At least we're almost done. Yeah, Brest Town does take a long time to finish. And yes, I'm going by the original translation. I am not going to be calling it the rocket launcher. I am not calling this place the bushlands. I'm calling it Grass Town. And I know there's like one other massive change they made. They also took out Huzzah from Balrog when he speaks, which... Why would you do that? It's such an archaic... It's such a very... Um... Like... It's such a... I'm trying to think the word for it. Beloved thing that he says that people really like. Who were one of the early guest adopter for Let's Playing, to see his crab, became famous for saying it. And he got it from Balrog, so. Wait, did I get the jellyfish juice? I did not. Really, I didn't? That's weird. You'd think I would have got it on the way here, but apparently I didn't. Good thing I noticed it here. Yeah, I skipped right past it. Wow. About the only thing I skipped. So, I'm beginning to wonder if I was mistaken, and that this was not missable to get the bobbler. Hmm. I could have sworn that um, he stopped at some point. But my memory isn't always correct. Simple, let's do this. Oh, the charcoal. Ooh, the jellyfish juice. Oh, even the gum base. Let us begin. It is finished. Got the explosive. Go on. Blow that door up. Hell yeah. It's not going to help me much with this. Not to find a house. Ah, there it is. For the explosive. Woohoo! Well, you get to see what you look like now. You did it, my boy! I knew you could do it the minute I laid eyes on you. Anyway, my name is Kazuma Sakamoto. You can call me Kazuma, that's fine. I was lucky enough to escape from the doctor. But fortunately, my teleporter sent me here. Thought I was going to starve. I owe my very life to you. Oh, by the way, you won't happen to know the Mimika village, would you? Sue? You bet Sue? Oh, I see. Give me Sue's place to find me. Alright then. Lead the way to the village. Hmm? Uh, hi? Kazuma! Professor Booster! You're safe! 
Yes, more or less. And how is Sue? She alright? She's at the Mimiga village. This young fellow was just put to guide me there. Do you two know each other? No. No, we've never met. Never mind, we must hurry to find Sue. The doctor has begun gathering the Omegas. It seems he has become aware of the red flowers. But Sue! Will the red flowers affect Sue as well? Just like the other Omegas? Kazuma. The doctor has begun gathering the Omegas. You know what that means, don't you? You mean the war? He. Precisely. We have no choice now but to stop him. Stop him? But how? I have an idea. For now, let's hurry to where Sue is. We'll talk then. You too, come along. Well, the things just got serious. So then, young man, can you lead us back? Kosuma. Yes, sir. Can you operate that? I believe I can. Uh. It won't stop! <laughs> well, hopefully they're all right. <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Okay, let's do this properly. There we go. I'm surprised I've been through this entire place and not fallen into any death traps. For me, that's kind of amazing. When I first played this game, going through here, that happened a lot. You actually got out. <laughs> and may as well take a jellyfish juice for the road. I don't think there's really any point to having it, but you know, it's always nice to have stuff. Uh <laughs> the motorbike custom is driving. It's not looking so hot anymore. <laughs> well, hopefully they're alright. <laughs> That's right. The doctor wants to use the red flowers to make you attack the humans. 
Why does he want to do that? That man is... It's like a demon. He's going to use those flowers of Taroko? As far as I can tell, he's still looking for them. We can only hope he doesn't find them. If he finds those flowers, Taroko... She would go wild. A weapon of death. I'll never allow that to happen! Flash before my eyes. Mm. <laughs> Kazuma! And Professor Booster! Oh! You're alright then. Well, more or less. Mm. Who's that Momiga? That's King, a friend of mine here in the village. There used to be tons of Momigas here. Nearly all of them, though, been kidnapped by the doctors, goons. Even King has lost friends. Thanks for your help. This mission didn't really survive, at least we did. Doctor's plan is proceeding exactly on schedule. We'll do something soon. Death weapon. No, I'll never allow it. Welcome back. Looks like I owe you another one. Brother's help. Should be able to get around the passage for that egg. Booster, can we take this little guy with us when we go? Professor. Hmm? Sue, my dear. We have to suspend our escape. The doctor has located the red flowers. What? Well, he has not yet acquired them. It's only a matter of time. The case in is the sand zone. Flowers are apparently to be found somewhere in the sand zone. Sand zone? I mean, that's where we'll find the doctor? Well, or likely one of his servants. If we don't destroy those flowers before they get their hands on them? However, the sand zone is exceedingly dangerous. Even supposing we made the trip. There's no guarantee we would return alive. You're giving up? Actually, there's one of us who's a perfect match for this job. It's you. Who is he? In fact, this is one of the armed scout robots that were dispatched to this island ten years ago. A robot? My impression was that they'd been completely wiped out, but I do not know the particulars. It's barely possible that one of them could have. Professor, not into the sand zone. I see. You are the most suited to explore the silent. Please give us your aid. So, at this point, it's worth noting. The Cave Story, the original PC version, um, only has one access to one save file, but what I'm going to be doing is saving the saves. I know that sounds repetitive, but I'm going into my save data and making a copy of it, because due to the nature of this game, you have to basically go through the game multiple times to experience all the content. So I'm going to basically save myself a lot of trouble and make a copy of this point right here so that I can come back later without having to redo all that. So, I need to make a new folder now, and I'm going to label it Backup. And I'm going to put this all in it. There we go. There we go. 
That should make this work very well later on. Reach this chance of via the teleporter. Red flowers, burn every single one of them. Get rid of the flowers. We have to prevent the war for now. It's a big responsibility. So you're one of them. I hadn't even noticed. My, my, you said they're well built. Exactly. Hmm. Took further on through a fight against a horrific red monster. A terrible demon inside on the piece of Amigas. Without the doctor, it's something else. The demon has lived on the island for ages. Came here to the village, but Arthur Seiko highly drove it back. Scaly and Figure alone, shielding our village from harm. Or forget it, as long as I live. He may have finally been killed by the doctor, but he was a true hero. I think I know the monster he's referring to, but we'll get to that later. Yeah, I go and talk to them, doesn't seem to ever do any good, so I'm not gonna. So, uh, how long have we been doing this? Hmm, I could do it for a little longer. This is a secret that is not in the original cave story. This is a mod that is in this version of the game. I'll get more to this later, but this is another thing I'm going to be doing. In a secondary playthrough once I'm done with the first. Uh, hi there. Uh. Hmm. You look different. Your skin's more of a pale color. Kind of like mine, actually. That's weird. Yeah, these insects over here are trying to make a mad dash for ya. You don't want to let them do that. Amigas. Oh no, it's killer robot. Remember what Curly said? Aim for the face. Huh? You're not gonna hurt us? You're on our side? Oh, we're so sorry. We had bad experiences with killer robots in the past, so we had to be careful. Hi. Are you kids okay? Yes, Curly, we're fine. Well then, looks like we have a visitor. I know what you're looking for, but wake up. Amigos aren't your enemies. Amigos are harmless. Wait, Curly, is it gonna hurt us? Sure have got that right. Bad for you, but I'm on their side. Yes, so is he. Oh. Okay, hold on. Just breaking the floor is enough. Okay. Okay, so apparently just breaking that flooring is enough to get the alternate dialogue. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Or is it just always going to be that way since I'm using the mod? I hope not.
Just ignore that block. Yep, okay, this is how things usually go. Uh. Ooh. We have a visitor. I know what you're looking for, but wake up. You guys aren't your enemies. You guys are harmless. Too bad for you, but I'm on their side. You're going down. Yeah, this is supposed to be a boss fight. Oh. You're immune to missiles. Okay. Ah. Yeah, you gotta be quick to jump when you hear her revving up. Oh, and she even turns around. Oof. Victory. When I can't fight anymore. Suppose you're gonna kill all the Mamigas. Just like the other robots. What happens if I say yes? I see. What a pity. There's some good for fish. The sunstone to lift the spell. Watch out for the sand crocs. Sand that they're gonna bite you. It really hurts too. Let's say to you. Huh? This is Mr. Killing Machine. Still playing Killing Amigos? Okay. Doing a lot of resetting and showing off different dialogue today. <laughs> I think after this section, though, that gets cut down significantly. You will see why. Now at this point, I probably could show the alternate scene, but I'm kind of afraid it'll change everything else, too. So I won't be doing that. Okay, so... Good to know that the missile launcher is going to be entirely pointless for the beginning of that fight, so I can get some early shots in. The fireball seems like it's the most effective thing for her, since she never leaves the ground. So, I'm going to be going with that. Kind of sucks they have to attack the other Mamigas, though. I'd rather not. But they're treated as enemies here, so I have no choice. I'm doing a much bigger job dodging that charge up attack. Damn it. She got me cornered. Otherwise I would have done it no damage. No. Oh. You're with the Mimigas too? That's right. Something bad about them. I'm Curly. Curly Brace. When I woke up, some of these children. I knew memories before that. Amnesia, you might say. It was probably a Mimika Butcher, just like the other robots. Oh wow. That brother store of yours is in awful shape. Do you want to trade it for my machine gun? Yes. Yeah, machine gun. Now, I'll get more into this later, but the Polar Star is kind of important. And normally you want to hold on to it for later. 
but for this for the sake of this playthrough, I'm gonna be showing off the machine gun. Perf. Let me throw the real bad guys. We're just used by them. Now, unlike the Polar Star, this does have an ammo count, but it's not exactly something you need to be concerned about. It refills the ammo super quick. Kind of like the Bubbler. And even level 1, it's pretty damn powerful. Oh right, I was supposed to talk to the little Amigos once I helped out Curly. Forgot to do that. So you're saying the same thing? Okay, so do you all just say the same thing? Yeah, that is important advice. Look at Red Flowers? It's an old woman named Jenku might know about that. Alright, if you go see her, bring along the dog next to the bed. Okay. Want to dog with you? Yes. Giant sun like things will spit those smaller ones. Damn, this thing's powerful. Now, you see that skull down there? That means you should avoid the sand, because that has a croc in it. Later on, I'll show you what I mean. Secret entrance. You want to save? Yes. Then save point. That's a bit of a dick move. Get up here. Yeah, you want to be careful falling into the sand down below in this area. It could be very hazardous for your health. Not quite level 3, but we're getting there pretty quick. There we go. Man, that's some powerful shots. Also... We could fly! 
Yeah, the propulsion from the shots are powerful enough that it sends us spiraling into the air. That's awesome. But only when you're at level 3. Uh. Yeah, I saw you guys up there. All right. I see Balrog failed in his duty. You again? Hmm. Look like quite a fighter. But at this juncture, you're proving yourself rather a nuisance. So we settle this. Uh. No, there's no need for me to get involved. Yep, here's a boss. Yeah, the, the level 3 machine gun kind of triplazes this fight a lot. It takes a while to kill him this way, but you can avoid a lot of his attacks. Especially when he's doing this phase. Yeah, I wrecked him. <laughs> Defeated Omega. Spell on the Sunstones has been lifted. So yeah, the Holy Machine Gun is awesome. <laughs> Now, why should you not come in here on the ground floor? That's why. The Sand Crocs are quick to bite you. You can kill them, but they'll immediately respawn, I think. Or, I thought so. Hmm. backtracking. Ah. I didn't have level 3 machine gun for this before. I do now. You can get up here without it. But it takes some very specific platforming. Self increased by five. So now we're at 31. And now the stones will go over the way and give us way to the bottom. See if I can go through the ceiling there. Check his house. Oh my! My precious puppy! What a back, I take it. Many thanks. What's that? Red flowers? Huzzah! How's it going, Chinka? Ah, Balrog. You're doing well, I see. And it was my half-wit of a daughter fairing. Hee hee hee. Half-wit. 
You mean Misery? Wait, that's your daughter? She's fine, she's fine. A new master has appeared. This time, the Earth will be ours. So once again, you two plot to... I'm not here to give you any trouble. I just came to collect the key to the storehouse. The one with the flower seeds are kept. Hmm. My. What on earth are you talking about? Ho ho! Playing the fool, are you? I see how it is. So you've chosen to betray us. You'll regret it. This is what a serious as he's been so far. A new master! That good for nothing. There are actually four others. Four more puppies of mine. My hips are so weak. Can this old woman trouble you to find her other puppies for her? I guess. <laughs> However, that will be saved for next time, because this is quite the quest. But yeah. <laughs> the machine gun is certainly a huge improvement over the Polar Star. Like, there's really no comparison here. However, people, there's a reason why most people hold on to the Polar Star until later in the game. I will be showing that off on another playthrough, though. I will be basically using the machine gun throughout the whole playthrough, because it's a fun weapon. Not the strongest weapon, as you'd expect, but still a pretty decent upgrade from what we had. But, it, uh, but yeah, we're starting to get stuff done. Hmm. Kind of sucks that Power Rocket Booster is so close to where the uh, red flower seeds are kept, though. Gonna have to deal with that later. Oh well. I'll see you later.